In my search for the easiest Christmas baking activity, I came across a thing called Christmas Crack. Okay, so I was sold at the name. But I'm also giving this recipe extra points for only needing a few ingredients. Plus zero baking time and zero skills required. I did somehow manage to mess up the brown sugar. In my first batch, the butter didn't fully mix with the brown sugar. I'm not really sure what I did wrong, but I think it might have gotten too hot. Fortunately, there's practically zero ways you can mess up sugar, butter, and chocolate. Okay, wait. I stand corrected. Giving my toddler a tiny can of sprinkles might have been a mistake. But this is exactly why I'm making two batches. All I had to do was channel my inner Walter White. And this time, the sugar came out perfectly. <laughs> So I decided early on that I was never gonna spend hours in the kitchen making Christmas cookies because one, I don't like to bake that much, and two, I'm not a fan of Christmas cookies. But I do have a sweet tooth and I don't want to deny Daniel the childhood memories of baking during Christmas. Needless to say, I think this recipe will be sticking around. These adorable containers from Walmart came in handy. Now I just have to deliver this to my family without eating it all.